Warning, this video is for educational purposes only and is not responsible for using it in a wrong way. Before performing the assembly and disassembly, you must follow the following. Once you remove the case, you remove all the cables including pata. While removing the cables, you must be very careful with the other parts of the system unit. After removing the cables, next is the CPU fan. While removing the CPU fan, you must be very careful with other parts of the system unit. On placing the CPU fan, it must be facing down like this because of the thermal paste. And don't do it like this. Just put it like this. After removing the CPU fan, the next to remove is the optical drive, but it depends on the system unit you have. An optical drive refers to a computer system that allows users to use DVDs, CDs, and Blu-ray optical drives. On putting the optical drive, it should be like this. And not like this. And the next to remove is the power supply unit. Power supply is the component that supplies power to a computer, then pulls the required amount of electricity and converts the AC current to DC current. Next to remove is the system fan. System fan is used to prevent overheating of your system unit. This is the hard disk drive. It is the main and usually largest data storage hardware device in a computer. The operating system, software, titles, and most other files are stored in the hard disk drive. It is sometimes referred to as the C drive due to the fact that Microsoft Windows by default designates the C drive letter to the primary partition on the primary hard drive in a computer. Again, when putting down the hard disk drive, it should be soft as that, not like this. This is the CPU or central processing unit. It is known as the central processor but more commonly called processor because it is the brain of the computer where most calculations take place. In terms of computing power, the CPU is the most important element of a computer system. You should handle the CPU like this and you should be very careful and don't do it like this because it will destroy the CPU. Why? Because CPU is very sensitive. Next is the RAM or Random Access Memory, a type of computer memory that can be accessed randomly. That is, any byte of memory can be accessed without touching the preceding bytes. RAM is found in the servers, PC, tablets, smartphones, and etc. And on removing the RAM, you should handle it carefully, not like this, because it is also very sensitive. Put it softly like this, and don't do it like this. Next is the CMOS. 
complementary metal oxide semiconductor is a semiconductor technology used in the transistors that are manufactured into most of today's computer microchips. Next is the video card. It is a printed circuit board controlling output to a display screen. And last is the motherboard. Known as the main board, main circuit board, system board, base board, planar board, or logic board. It is the main printed circuit board found in general purpose computers and other expandable systems. It holds and allows communication between many of the crucial electronics component of a system, such as the CPU, memory, and etc. And now, the assembly. On assembling the system unit, you're just gonna reverse what you just did on disassembling it. I can tell by your eyes that you are probably been crying forever. Zoom out.